Order up. It is time for us to order up. Order up, order up. This week, we are going to order up the top possible NBA expansion cities. This comes out of the fact that Adam Silver opened his big yap and said that the NBA would consider expansion. Why, I don't know. How many sweeps have we endured in this playoff? And how much boring, subpar basketball do we have to witness? Now we're going to get more of it. Yay! Yay! From five to one, what do you got, D? All right. Uh, you know, it's kind of tough because when you talk about expansion, you're like, well, you know, what makes the most sense financially, right? Because you want to go into a market where people are going to be able to go to the games. People are going to be able, you know, you're going to, it's, it's going to attract, you know, not only the community, but also outsiders to go. So when I take that in consideration, well, taking that in consideration for four of my five, <laughs> my fifth one is kind of a cool one. I think they should send a team to Hawaii. Okay. And they should have an outdoor court. Mmm. I think that would be awesome. That's something that nobody's done. That'd be kind of, I mean, you have beautiful weather all year round in Hawaii. So you can have an outdoor court. Whatever. We'll make it work. Set it up wherever. I think that'd be fun. Uh, number four, I'm going with Austin, Texas. Put another team in Texas. San Antonio gets a good buzz. Austin's the University of Texas is there. Uh, that's a big party town. I think you can get people to go to games in Austin, Texas. Number three is the obvious one. It's Vegas. You know, everybody wants a team in Vegas. Number two is Seattle because they should be really be putting a team back in Seattle. And number one, mine's a little probably different than yours. It's Nashville. It's Nashville, Tennessee. Let them play in the same building that the Preds play in. Maybe play on that name a little bit. And uh, there's plenty of people that party in Tennessee. There's a lot of big businesses now in Tennessee. And it gets good tourists in Tennessee. All good choices. It, the Hawaii one's very interesting. Like Outdoor court baby. That would be very cool. The problem is, is that concessions, like, well, we're out. It'll be back in a week. <laughs> and, it, yeah. and it's thirty two ninety nine for a hot dog. <laughs> Just one. Just one. Not even a beer. So, I mean... As cool as that would be, like I don't know, I don't see that happening. No, uh, I don't. But I thought it'd be, that would I'd be really. Be, I it'd be they fun. should play a game in Hawaii, though. That would actually be really friggin' cool. I know play Mexico outdoors. City's on the list. Like, well, if you're gonna play in Mexico City, see, I was gonna say, I was gonna say Mexico, but the problem is, I don't think there's money in it to be made in Mexico. I don't think there's money to be made there. Like, you, what's the? I don't know what the fan probably... base is. I really don't know what the fan base is. Yeah. I, I don't know, like, with the NFL, right, they have a huge section of Raider fans in Mexico City. There's a huge section of Chiefs fans. Like, they, they play to that, right? They send either the Raiders or the Chiefs. So they know the demographic. I don't know what the demographic is with basketball in Mexico City. It, it might very well just be, like, the th- they might just be Laker fans. Like, okay, so why would you know? I'll just send the Lakers there and have them play. Like, have them just do that. I don't know. For me, I think there are plenty of American cities that are that don't have a basketball team. Some of them had a basketball team in the past, and I think it would be time to revisit those markets. Number one, no, number five, rather, is Baltimore. Like, yeah, you have the Washington Wizards, but. The Baltimore Bullets were there a long time before they moved to D.C. Yes, I understand that the whole Bullets thing. You don't have to name them the Bullets, right? You, you don't have to call them the Bullets, although the Bullets is a real is a badass name. Right? It's better than the Wizards. But the, the I mean, Baltimore has a history of basketball. So why not tap into that? And Baltimore has the NFL. It has Major League Baseball. It can support and has supported basketball in the past. Number four, St. Louis, Missouri. I'm tired of places. I'm I'm tired of teams leaving St. Louis. I'm tired Hmm. of football leaving St. Louis. I'm tired of... I'm tired of the original basketball team leaving St. Louis. 
let's invest in St. Louis. You have the Cardinals. You have the Battle Hawks of the UFL. Why not? You have the Blues. There, there's a hotbed of sports there. If not St. If not St. Louis, Kansas City. Some team in Missouri. They have shown that they will go out and they will support. So why not? Why not? Number three, Las Vegas. This is a fait accompli. It's going to happen. So if we're talking about, you know, we're talking about every other city, right? Because Las Vegas is bound to happen. It's ready. It's time. Just do it. Just just, just do it. If nobody's going to relocate, just put, put the damn expansion team there and call it a day. Number two... I like the idea I mean there's no there's no sports professional sports team right at the major levels in Kentucky why not Louisville we know how crazy the state of Kentucky is for basketball the question is would they go and support a professional team they have Louisville they have the University of Kentucky why the hell not it's worth a shot it's worth a shot and then number one the one true answer we've been waiting for this forever bring us the Seattle fucking supersonics please bring them back bring them back they never you know Clay Bennett bought the team under the auspices that he wasn't going to move the team. And oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We have been clamoring collectively. We have been clamoring for the Seattle Supersonics since the day they left. They have an awesome legacy. They have an awesome fan base that's hungry. They're rebuilding the arena as we speak. I believe if they're not going to use Climate Pledge Arena that they're using for the Kraken, they're going to have their own. It's there. It's waiting for you. All you have to do is say yes. Now, if you put Seattle and Vegas in, you're moving two teams to the Eastern Conference. That's the tricky part. Not really. You move Minnesota, and you move New Orleans. Done. Problem solved. That wasn't too hard. So if that's what you're going to do, do it. But people in Seattle are waiting for it. And they've been clamoring for it. Make it so. These are our lists. What are your lists? Hit us up, faderoutmail at gmail.com or slide in our DMs on IG at faderoutpodcast or drop us a line on X, DNZ, and let us know where you would put an NBA expansion team. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.